even though it seems like summer has come and gone like that, I can't snap. Skip to my loo, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Even though it feels like summer has come and gone so quickly, the sun is still out, sunscreen is still necessary, so I thought today we would go over some of my very favorite sunscreens for the face. When I was in high school and college, I thought it was okay to rub baby oil on my face and lay in the sun, but now I know much better. Now I know that there are thousands of sunscreens out there to choose from, but I think I have come up with a couple really good ones, not only for mature skin, but also for dry, oily, and normal skin. Now I'm gonna start out with what I used to use. My husband loves this stuff still. I love this stuff no longer. And we originally purchased this because it says right on the bottle, clear face. And it boasts about being the number one recommended sunscreen by dermatologists as well as not causing breakouts or clogging pores. That all sounds great, but what I tend to feel when using this sunscreen is a very dry, even chalky face. And that might be because I have a very dry face to start out with, but I think this Neutrogena clear face sunscreen would be great for someone who doesn't want to contribute to an already oily face. So even though I don't use this anymore, it's a good choice for oily skin and it costs around $10 for a bottle. It is three ounces and should last quite a long time since you're only using it for your face. Now to a sunscreen that I do use and like very much. It's in a tie with another sunscreen that I'm about to show you. This is SkinCeuticals Physical Fusion UV Defense Sunscreen and the one that I have here is tinted. Now the price is not so great and me being as frugal as I am, it must say something about this product if I actually purchase it. It is $34 for 1.7 ounces. Not cheap, but none of SkinCeuticals products are, yet I use almost exclusively SkinCeuticals. I forgot to mention that all the sunscreens I'm talking about today are water resistant. That's a must. I don't care if you're swimming or what. So the fact that this is tinted, I'm going to show you guys because everybody's skin is a different shade but this seems to blend in with whatever color. Let's try some. Yes, I have makeup on, but this is just to show you that it kind of blends in with everything. It looks like it's too dark for my skin. Voila, gone and blended. Anyway, I feel like this is the sunscreen to use for mature skin. Whether it's dry, oily, or normal, this covers all the bases. Now lastly, I'm gonna share what I feel is a great little secret with you guys, and that is the least expensive, best sunscreen that I have ever used on my face. It's not intended for the face, it's intended for children, which at times I may act like one, but much different skin. Now I will say before showing you guys what this is, it's for dry skin because it is not oil free, but it is dye free, oxybenzone free, and fragrance free, and this is a children's sunscreen, 50 SPF from Walgreens. I purchased this particular brand last year before a beach vacation, and I just wanted some basic sunscreen because I knew I would be staying in the shade most of the time and just wanted something water resistant. It turns out I forgot to bring this, so I ended up putting this on my face, and guess what? It felt great on my dry skin, and when I put makeup over it, it was almost like a nice layer underneath of primer. Now, I wouldn't consider this primer, but my point is it wears well underneath foundation and concealer. It's thick and the feel of it is not greasy, but it's like hand lotion. In fact, that's exactly what I use it for. I keep one in my car to put on my hands to protect them from the sunlight while I'm driving. I'll also use this when I go for walks where I might be well aware that I'm going to shower afterwards and I don't want to put this on and then just wash it right off because this right here costs three dollars or two for five dollars at Walgreens. So I figure kids skin is fairly new. They haven't had that much exposure to anything and it's probably a bit sensitive so why not use a kid's sunscreen on the face? 
Now, I know some of you will have good reason for not using this on their face, and that's fine. Put that down below in the comments, and maybe we'll all learn something new. So you have this fantastic formula. It does its job, and then some. It's tinted, goes on beautifully, but then you have this. $3. Cheap, moisturizing, does its job. They are both sunscreens that I love for my face and will continue purchasing, even though the price is much different. This is actually $31 more than this one. So this video was pretty impromptu. I have these very close to my makeup and I thought about it today, which one I wanted to wear. I have this one on my face right now. I am more likely to put this on if I wear makeup than this because it almost has a foundation finish. Not quite. Although it's tinted, it is somewhat sheer, but it does do something nice to your skin. So basically what I'm trying to say is, eh, maybe if your skin is very oily, sure. Expensive skin suitables, but very much worth it. Walgreens, generic kids sunscreen. I highly recommend it. If not for your face, then the rest of your body because it really seems to cling on, cling on, and resist rubbing off or sweating off. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this video on sunscreens that I really liked. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Bye.